backpedaling by President Biden when he was vice president, his son, and as well as several other members of the Biden family. But did the GOP's presenta presentation win over the American people? Well, unfortunately, a lot of the media outlets didn't even cover it. Joining us now, former New Jersey Superior Court judge and the host of the Judging Freedom podcast, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Thank you, Judge, for joining us. Oh, it's always a pleasure, uh, Lydia. Thank you. Judge, what do you say to people that say, listen, there's simply no evidence? I mean, you I heard Hakeem Jeffries. I hear all the political pundits on MSNBC, CNN. When, but when you put it all out there, you're a judge. The evidence, albeit circumstantial, it seems overwhelming. Well, remember, uh, there's two ways to look at this. One is the criminal side, like in the case of Senator Menendez, in which you have to show, the government would have to show, uh, the corrupt use of official levers of government power. So doing favors for friends, doing favors for your relatives, may not necessarily be the corrupt use of government power. Impeachment, however, is a political process, not a legal one. You don't have to show that depth of corruption. You only have to show that Joe Biden, when he was vice president, misused or allowed others to misuse his office in such a way as though it appears to be bribery. It appears as though he was enriched through a, through a circuitous route as a result of what he said and did as vice president, whether it was favors for friends or whether it was the official use of government lever levers of power. Uh, I think the Republicans will have to show a little bit more than they have shown uh, thus far because they have to interest the media in it. And the media would have to interest the American public in it. If just Newsmax and my former employer uh, are the only uh, networks that are showing this, it's not going to arouse enough interest on the part of the public, which is not going to arouse enough interest on the part of moderate Republicans in the House whose votes for impeachment will be vital. They can't take an impeachment vote and lose it. If they don't have a majority in the House, then this is the only value of this will be to tarnish Joe's brand, but not to bring him to trial. You know, and the Media Research Center, I saw it last night, they put together this montage of all the political analysts on CNN and MSNBC, and they say the same exact thing. Oh, Joe Biden, they only spoke to him about the weather. The talking points, it clearly, it, it's coming direct from the White House because how could it be such a coincidence that everyone is saying the exact same verbiage? Well, we know it came from the White House, Lydia. It wouldn't surprise me if the White House even came to Newsmax because this White House is a bit afraid of what's going on because Joe can't really defend himself. Joe, the president, cannot stand in front of a microphone in the East Room with a couple of hundred reporters there at a, at a presser. Don't expect that to happen. It is much more likely that senior Democrats will come to him and say, Mr. President, it's over. We can't run you for re-election. It will be devastating to the Democratic brand. It's time for you to go back to Rehoboth Beach. I don't mean resign the presidency. I mean, serve out your term, give your blessing to somebody else, and then there'll be a bloodbath amongst Republicans. Hillary Clinton, Kamala Harris, Phil Murphy, Gavin Newsom, they're all going to be at each other's throats for the opportunity to what? Defend his miserable presidency. And what a miserable presidency it has been. Judge Andrew Napolitano, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Uh, pleasure, my dear friend. Thank you, sir. At the 11th hour this